Hey, what's going on? E. Jones, bottom to the top hoops. Your boy, Black Elvis, we're in the building. Yo, man, we hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas, Hanukkah, yes. Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate. Hopefully it was safe, happy, and healthy. Um, you know, we're, we're almost at the top of the year. It's 2021. It's going to be great. Al, how you feeling, my brother? How was your holiday season? Absolutely amazing, man. Everybody did a little social distancing, got yes. some good, good gifts, didn't get no socks and no, 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 no crappy gifts. Right. Great look. Right, man. Right, right, man. Big shout out to the fam show love. You know, we got our Zoom on. It was it was super dope, man. So before we get started, as we all do, got to shout out the team first, all the City Legends team, all the bottom to the top team and our sponsors. First sponsors who's been good to us. T-Mobile, man, big shout out. Thank you for your support. Who else we got, Al? We got Fine Food Cuisine in yes, the Bronx. Sir. Some one of the best uh, takeout food spots in the Bronx. Matter of fact, in New York City. That's a fact, man. Big shout out to Slice and Chef Al doing it up over in the Bronx, Mars Park Avenue. Make sure you get over there and check them out. And now, the one Bronx more, E. Come on, you know we got to show love. MMCC, your people's over at MMCC showed us love in the very beginning. Yes, man. Big shout out to MMCC, uh, doing a great job keeping kids active, tutorial, enrichment programs. Great job making sure they support. Big shout out to Montefiore Medical Center. Yo, uh, also the world famous Harlem Wizards. Make sure you ch check out that Wiz Fit Challenge, fundraising opportunities, keeping the kids active during the pandemic. The Harlem Wizards are back, baby! Since 1962, we've been in communities raising money for schools, bringing fun to keep that party rocking all night long. We got a brand new virtual fundraiser. We carefully crafted this program to keep your kids active by working out with the Wizards, and the kids get to earn free prizes. So help us support your school by raising tons of money. We want to bring everybody back together safely in a virtual space to have a whole bunch of fun. For more information, Contact us at info at harlemwizards.com. L. Got to get it. One Who more. Else we shout, got out to, shout out to K. Rubin. Yes, R&B Real Estate. You know what, man? We got a lot of people supporting us, bro. Great things. We got a lot of people supporting us. Tell them a little bit about K. Rube. K. Rube, um, if you want anything as far as real estate concerned if you want a uh investment property if you want to flip a property if you're looking for your dream home he got it uh k rubin rmb real estate check him out man l i'm i'm, I'm kind of jumping the gun i'm a little antsy man i want to get into it last podcast great feedback man thank you so much for everybody who chimed in and gave feedback and and and, and gave us your insight hold on i gotta let me cut you off e Yo, let me just mention Shane the dribbling machine because the uh -huh. feedback we got was we forgot Shane and they feel, the people feel he should have made the list. So I got to say, and Malloy was mentioned too. Yo, yo, those are my big brothers, man. Um, Shane, always show love, played with me on the Harlem Wizards, watched them coming up, Salesian, Westchester, and one mixtape, you know, the, the resumes by it, it, it stands alone. Malloy the Future Naismith, Utah State fame, you know, Rucker a uh, legend. Um, you know, he, he he's done it at every level, man. Big shout out to those guys. Bronx legends for sure. Now, <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get to the get to it. My man, L, we got some shows lined up for now in the new year with some topics that's going to engage the people, man. And this one... Y'all want to talk about this. The five most impactful players in New York City history. Mm. Five. Mm. And, I, and we stick in the five. You always say that when we pick six. Not, not today, bro. Not today. I'm standing on, on my square, square today, bro. <laughs> we pick <picking laughs> five, man. <laughs> Yo, bro, it's the new year, man. Feeling some type of way right now, man. I got to show some BX backbone. Got you. That's what it do. That's what it do. Yo, five most impactful. L, let me make a distinction for the people who may not know. It's not the five best. 
although they may be in that list. It's not the five most athletic, best jumpers, best ball handlers. Impactful. What is impact? Gain. Influence. Uh, notoriety. Fanfare. Uh, uh, off the court. Like, like, how did you affect New York City basketball culture, the kids who came before you, the ones who came after you, just overall impact. So everything is being flushed into one mix and then we, we, we taking the five best. And, and we don't, you know what, L? We're not even going with, yo, who might have made the list. We'll go with that after. We're just going to give the five Mm. And we'll talk about those people, and then we'll mention some other people who who is in consideration. Mm -hmm. In no particular order, number one, Chris Mullen. Talk about it, L. Chris Mullen. Ow. Even and you put him number one. Well, no, first, no, no, no. In no particular order. Okay. All right. All right. You know, I, I just when we talk about a topic like this, right? Lou Alcinda should be like. Top of the list. I, I was saving the best for last, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, but Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen, a premier, like a premier shooter. Mm -hmm. Um, IQ's been crazy. But one thing I have to say about one thing we want to put on this list is these guys were winners. You know what I mean? Mullen won on every level. But more importantly, he played for that major, major USA team. He actually made that team. Dream team, 12 best. The best basketball team ever assembled in the history of basketball. Debate me on it. There's Can't no debate talk, that. Nothing to talk about. He made, the, he made that team. So okay, he's got to so, make this team. Okay, there it is. I'm going to go into the history a little bit, L. Zillarian High School, Brooklyn, New York. Started off at the school that Kareem went to, Power Memorial, played with Mario Ellie before it closed down. Went mm. to Zerbarian, transferred to St. John's, made it to the 1984 Final Four. Mm. With Patrick Ewing, when it was three Big East teams in one Final Four, that's when the Big East was on top. Big East doing really good again. So played with the Golden State Warriors. Obviously, he had his off-the-court issues with, with you know alcoholism, uh, fought through that, made the dream team. One of the 10 best shooters in NBA history. Obviously a smooth left-hander, over 15,000 career points, Hall of Famer, nothing to talk about. All right, Al. Uh, next one. You want me to go with the next one? Yes. I know who the next one is. Who you got? I'm going with Bernard King. Nah, Al. Uh-uh. Can't do see, it. I, I, this is this is what the people want to see. Because no, there's no. some people saying he's right. Yo, no, Al, not today. <laughs> Yo. Brooklyn's finest, Fort Hamilton High School, University of Tennessee, live from Knoxville. This is the Bernie and Ernie show. Him and Ernie Grunfeld. Yo, career, like, Hall of Famer, great with the Knicks, career and the injury before medicine is what it is today. Came back with the Washington Bullets. Still got buckets. Shout out to him. I know him, but not this list. L, I'm going with Tiny Archibald next. D. Wood Clinton High School, Bronx, New York. Salute Net X, of course, always. Texas Western, but before that, uh, Arizona Western, then Texas Western, which eventually became Texas El Paso. Played for the legendary Don Haskins. The Bear, um, Hall of Fame coach, Hall of Fame player. The only player to ever lead the NBA in points and assists in the same season with the Kansas City Royals. <clears throat> L, come on, man. Do we need to say anything else? I mean, you know, we could talk about the championships with the Celtics. We could talk about the standout seasons, first team all NBA. Look, Tiny got to be on the list, man. He is the standard to which all New York City point guards are measured, period. Mm. So I'm going with Tiny. That's two so far, L. Chris Mullen, Tiny Archibald. All right, I know who's definitely on the list. Who? Bob Cousy. 
100%. Yo, so here's what I know is going to happen, L. Before there was a tiny arch board, it was a Bob Cousy, right? And because of, you know, Bob Cousy and how old he is or, or, or you know, when he played, I don't think that younger people, maybe the people in our era and older, respect and understand what Bob Cousy did and, 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 and might say, yo, you bugging. Bob Cousy don't make the list. So, because I knew that would be the case, L, I got to give a history lesson. Queens, New York, Andrew Jan Jackson High School. Played at Holy Cross where he basically put them on the map and became an NCAA champion. Consensus All-American for three years. Let's go down the accolades. Eight-time NBA champion. I'm just reading from my list right here. Mm. NBA Most Valuable Player. 13-time NBA All-Star. Oh, the list goes on and on. Six-time NBA champion with the Boston Celtics. Four-time first-team All-NBA. Two-time all-time uh, uh, NBA. Excuse me, All-NBA. Oh, he was an NCAA champion in 1947. Top 20 in assists all-time. Has over... 5,000 career rebounds, 17,000 career points in the NBA. Bob Cousy's on the list. We got three. So that's three. Yeah. We need two more. All right. Well, I got one. Who? Lenny Wilkins. L. Lenny Wilkins is on the list. Got to be. And guess what, L? I know what the people going to say. Yo, I don't know about Lenny Wilkins. But let me let you know about Lenny Wilkins. Nine-time NBA All-Star, NBA All-Star Game MVP, NBA Assist Leader, 1970, 50 greatest players to ever play in the NBA, retired his number as a Seattle Supersonic, 1979 NBA Champion as a coach, NBA Coach of the Year, 1994. And NBA uh, head coach, all-star head coach, 1979, 1980, 1989, and 1994. Mm. Top 10 coaches in NBA history. At one point, had the most wins as a coach in NBA history. That, that uh, record has uh, since been, been passed up. 17,000 points, 7,000 career assists, over 7,000, and over 5,000 career um, rebounds. Lenny Wilkins mm. the list. One mm. spot left. Kareem. L, you're a Laker fan, bro. I don't know how long you've been a Laker fan. I know the, no, the first things first. I am a player fan. So I'm gonna let me let Let's me make that, that distinction. Fan. Yeah, because yeah. So you was a I, Mike fan too when the, when the, when 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 the Bulls was rocking. Come on, my G. I got clowned when he went to Washington. Oh, I bet you ain't Mike with Mike now. Yes, I am. Oh, you was a Washington fan. Yo, listen, it went from Mike to LeBron. Well, there was a gap between Mike and LeBron. Who you was cheering for? Nobody? The Knicks? Kobe. Respect. I'm a Kobe fan. I'm a Sixer fan, but when Kobe played the Sixers, I was torn. I'm keeping it 100. Yo, big mm. shout out and rest in peace to the Mamba and Gianna. That's going to be an ongoing theme for this show because we got to pay respect and homage to him. And all of our fallen soldiers, especially yeah, you know, it's the crazy thing too. Like Kobe was such an icon. He was such like, like, like when he walked in the room since he was seventeen. This dude always required the presence because of how good he was and who he was. You know that dude was one of the most humblest people you can ever be around. You can walk up to him. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? He looking at you. Don't be acting funny style. What's up, man? So, Al, he grew into that, man, because he was so aloof and so introverted. He just was quiet. And he was about basketball. Then when he started getting more comfortable, with, but he, was, he had an alter ego. When he came on that court, he was a cocky son of a gun. Yeah. When, when, he didn't want to go out. He didn't want to drink. Didn't want to smoke. None of that. He just wanted the hoop, man. He was a throwback, bro. So, you know, big shout out to the Mamba. 
But so you're a Laker fan now. And yes. Kareem, Ab- Kareem Abdul Jabbar, in my opinion, is I don't know if I can say he's the greatest Laker. Because Magic is probably the greatest Laker. Because mm. he was only one. well, LeBron is going to be the greatest Laker. You're disrespectful, is what you are. <laughs> Your level of disrespect is unbelievable right now. Yo, That's he's relevant problem. now. Come it's, on, it's the holiday season, fam. Let's let's. Come on, what are we talking about? You're, you're so disrespectful. Yo, first things first for the first people. He's been a Laker for two years. Knock it off. All right, you right. You now, right. now. I, I can't put him in front of Kobe, Elgin Baylor. I can't put him in front of Michael Cooper. <laughs> Come on now. Let's 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 not start comparing because LeBron is the only player to win three rings with three, three different teams, but he's spearheaded. It ain't like Kerr, where Kerr's riding the bench and getting these rings. No, LeBron was spearheading every time. I got respect for LeBron, but this ain't about Acre. We're going back to New York. All right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so look, bro. When we go national, we'll do accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my G, check this out. The real, the real is Kareem is the best. Let's say this. The most unstoppable shot in the history of basketball. Is the hook? The sky hook. What's, what's more unstoppable than the sky hook? It's impossible to come across somebody's body and block the ball. Not Michael Jordan's fadeaway, not Shaq's powerful dunk, not Tim Hardaway's killer crossover. No move was more effective than a skyhook. You couldn't stop it. Mm. He leads the NBA in all time, all time in, 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 in points scored. LeBron is on his heels. I'm hopeful he doesn't. I don't want him to get it. I want the title to stay in New York. I'm just keeping it on it. I'm a New York. Wow. Yo, call it what you Come want. On. See, see, let me let me let me just make it clear. For the people who don't know, yeah. One of the main reasons I love LeBron so much is because of the things he does off the court. Respect to that. You understand? So, like when I was younger, I didn't even think about things like that. So I was just a Michael Jordan fan. I didn't care what Mike did. Right. But, you know, the older I got, the more conscious I became and the more I realized that LeBron does so much for his community, does so much to give back. And if you had 20% of the NBA that did that for their communities, do you know how much our communities can change? Yo, L man, you, you make an unbelievable point. And I have a I have a profound and brand new respect for LeBron James because I always wanted him to be something that he wasn't. And I put him in a box and I was unfairly judging him. I'm I'm gonna own it, right? When he mm. wouldn't take the last shot, I'm like, come on. But he was a little bit of Mike and he was a little bit of magic. And he was his own person. He's never been shy about that or unapologetic and he did it his way and he's got four rings and that can't be disputed. I still have a problem with him sometime in deferring, but his way has proven to get four rings and I can't argue with that. And there is no player that has had more impact from a basketball perspective than LeBron James. It can be argued that Muhammad Ali and Jim Brown from a social standpoint has had equal impact but the empowerment and 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 influence that he's had from all over, it's argued that, that he he's in the conversation. But hey, hey, let me let me add to this too. Yeah, you know, you can take the children and think that you're healing them all day yeah. because you can. But guess what? Mm-hmm. If they're going back to a toxic environment, then it's like it was just done for nothing. So LeBron, what I really love is. He actually cloned and focused on the parents. Let's build the parents up. Let's get the parents' resumes. Let's teach them how to use the computer. And like I said, I can't stop talking enough about them. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when you're talking about change, the man, he, he's in the trenches with it. Guess what, L? He influenced me. And we got something coming up in the city of Baltimore that's going to change the lives of kids in that city. So stay tuned for that. Big shout out to True Smith. 
and, 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 and everything that we got going on with that. You know how we give it up with that. But we talk yes, about sir. that later. Okay. Finishing up on Kareem, most unstoppable shot, NBA all-time leading scorer, the best player to come out of New York State ever, period, exclamation point, nothing to talk about. I dare you to argue with me. You can't. It's nothing to talk about. I don't even want to go into the, I don't want to go into the career accolades. I don't even want to do it. Okay. So now let's talk about this, Al. Who didn't make the list? Who's who's <clears throat> everybody gonna give us feedback on? I think when you say the most impactful players to yeah. come out of New York, you gotta say Jamal Mashburn. He's in the conversation. You gotta say Felipe Lopez. In the conversation. When, in my era, you gotta say Terrence Richard. I love you, T. No disrespect. Yo, yo, my dude, in that era, six four, six five, yo, I seen the man dominate. I'm talking about dominate games. And I know what you're saying overall, but when you say impactful in New York City, you can't tell me. Well, 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 you gotta same. be from New York City, but you gotta be impactful overall. Got you. Okay. 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 Um, let's see. So, so, so worldwide. I got one that we missed. Who? Stephon Marbury. For sure. For sure. For sure. I got another one. Who? Rod Strickland. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Hmm. I got one. I got one that's going to damn it, darn up. Like almost top the list. Thank you, because like E, one thing about it, shout out to E Jones, man. He don't allow us to curse on the show. He be right. like, yo, no, nah, we ain't cursing. Yo, we forgot Joe Hammond. Woo! The destroyer, E, break it down. Give me a little history. Oh, man, yo, Joe. Um, see, Al, you can't mention Joe Hammond without mentioning Pee Wee Kirkland. Joe, you can't. The GOAT, Earl the GOAT, Manny GOAT, Manny Herman GOAT. the Helicopter, Fly Williams, mm. World Be Free. I mean, Holcomb Rucker. Yo, yo, Holcomb Rucker. Yo, Holcomb. listen. Let's, you want to talk about street ball? I mean, come on, Al. As a player, a mentor. Yo. Got about Holcomb Rucker. Al, man. We said five, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we've completed the five after we said uh, four guys that's like honorable mention because they can be on the list depending on what day we in. Yo, L, man. Whoo. Those guys, I mean, you know, you heard the stories about Joe, Joe Hammond scoring 70 and three quarters and, you know, having yeah, opportunity. Let, 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 me, let me give a little story, too, right quick. Okay, go ahead, Joe go ahead. Hammond. So uh, what I love about Joe Hammond is to this day, the destroyer still is around children and being influential. Like uh, shout out to Lil Zai, Lil Zaza. You know, I know for a fact, like I went to film one day and Joe Hammond is teaching Lil Zaza how to shoot a proper jump shot. And he's telling him, stop going so far out. Start under the basket. This is for all you guys who want to develop a jump shot. The first thing you want to learn is, Where's your range? It's the first thing. How do you do that? Get under the basket. If it hits the rim and it doesn't hit all net, you know that's your range. Until you can get a feel where the ball goes over the rim. And then you keep backing up. When I watched Joe do that, and I used to do that with children that I used to train, I, I felt so good. But more importantly, I understood I was teaching it the right way. Because one thing about the destroy, I seen him pulling from half, man. He had hops. He had a jumper. He was a dog. A dog. I only watched film, man. I, I was I, I didn't have the pleasure of watching uh, Joe the Destroyer play live. And 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 you know, there's so many players, man, came up in street ball that just, you know, we could just go on it. Yo, first of all. Uh-oh. First of all, man, <laughs> there's a lot of people out here talking about this city and our game. And you know I get very, very protective of New York City basketball. And, you know, when we got that seven piece, I had my chest out with this drive. And I'm watching the NCAA now, and I'm talking to my friends, and they're like, I don't know, E. 
It's down. You keep talking, it's down, it's down, it's down. Yo, nobody's history is like New York's, period. Nobody. And I'm not even talking about the state because I ain't even bringing up, like you said, Elton Brand and, and the Dr. J's and all those people who come from outside of the city in Long Island. Just the city, put my city against your city. And let's talk about the history. It's nothing to talk about, period. Mm. Mm. Because at one time, it was so far. Now they closed the gap. They closed the gap. You know, and I know I'm on my soapbox right now. I got my energy's way up, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my BS right now. I get it. But that's how I'm feeling, man. So I need my New York kids not to make a lie out of me, man. Let's get serious about this. Let, let's take the ownership of being, you know, the 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 standard to which basketball is measured and how mm. we play, how we train, how we win, how we compete. And, and, and you know what? At the end of the day, how we get results. Because mm. everything starts with New York, whether it's slang or fashion or basketball. Let's own it, man. You know, we lost it for a little while in, in hip hop and all of that. You're going to have me going off on a tangent, bro. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. it. Yo, man, they think these topics is, is man, the ones we got coming up. Yo. Yo, I had fun today, bro. I had fun. Enjoyed this one, man. I enjoyed this I, one. Man. I had fun, man. Yo, before we continue and, and, and close this out, I want to say, man, love your people. Tell them. Appreciate them. Acknowledge them. It's the one thing that the pandemic has showed everyone. That Life is short and you cannot take anything or anyone for granted. We are fortunate, L, to be gainfully employed in a position to be able to still help people, support our families, and be healthy. Yes, sir. And brother, I respect you and I love you. And, 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 and I'm so appreciative for the work that you put in on this podcast and everything else that you do. I salute you, man. And, 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 and you mean the world to me, brother. I appreciate you, bro. Love is love. In closing, man, big shout out to the team, Jerry Ice, D. Jones, everybody on City Legends. Check us out, YouTube, Apple TV, Spotify, Becom TV. We have 14,000 subscribers, man. Keep sharing it. Keep showing us love, man. We coming. Who you shouting out, Al? You got the last word, bro. Ah, man, you know, one thing I got to say, man, shout out to the man above who always make this all happen. But more importantly, I want to leave you guys with these words. Go where you're celebrated and not tolerated.